Morning. Welcome to Elk Creek Acres. What? I know you're waiting on the video, but a man has to have his priorities in line. Stay tuned. So how is everybody today? This is a first look at the all new 220R mechanical self level and loader and this was the first 220 r msl that landed on my dealer's floor at any of their locations i went and picked it up yesterday uh, my younger daughter and i we ran down to the dealer with it i Dropped the NSL where they asked me to, and we hooked this up. They already had it set up. Um, one thing, just a little piece of information. I didn't know that. When these come from the factory, when you just order the loader itself, everything is pinned and bolted together, but all of the hydraulic lines they they just come in a bag and the dealer has to put them together now let's uh i did do uh when i got back i had to go up and we had to finish the cornfield uh reseeding that disking it and reseeding it um had a camera malfunctioner i would actually had made a video of that that was uh came out really good so a few observations right off the bat when I was hooking this loader up now on the NSL these quick these quick connectors come out at a 90 and I noticed right off the bat oh well, I was already playing around a little bit with it I noticed right off the bat that these are 45s or maybe not even that maybe 30s now look here I mean, there's no binding, there's no pinching, there's nothing in the, you know, nothing interfering with anything, no damage. So I'm not really going to worry too much about it. But I have to question why, I mean, this is still the same, same tractor. Why did Deer make these, they look actually like 30s, 30 degrees. Why did they make them like that? I would have to question that uh, Deer on that one. Uh, the 90s fit right in there like a glove on the other loader. Also, uh, everybody remembers Tim's video <clears throat> on the little bolt that had a 13 millimeter head. So whatever size bolt that is <clears throat> on the part stand. And there's actually, uh, there's a few videos on that very same thing uh let me get a better look here where there's not a lot of hydraulic lines this time it's a bolt through with a lock nut to hold that parking stand down i'm not sure if the newer nsls are coming through that way or not but i i would think maybe maybe deer you know learned from everybody else having that issue because uh, there's been several on green tractor talk there's several members on there that have had that issue so you know maybe that's a a live and learn maybe deer improved that uh, that should be much as much more robust for one and it should hold up better um there was an awful lot of discussion on the rollback angle on tim's video uh or from tim's video on green tractor talk and on facebook groups they were just blowing up so many people saying holy cow why did deer do that i'm 
no way am I gonna get that MSL now. Now, I do not have both loaders. Um, I know spec on the non-self-leveling loader, spec for bucket rollback is 34 degrees. With a uh, angle app yesterday, I measured this one at 32 degrees. <clears throat> so to me, two degrees of rollback isn't gonna be a deal breaker. Um, I have, I did take a picture, uh, last week I shot some pictures of my NSL about five or six inches off the ground, fully rolled back, and a picture of this loader fully rolled back. I'll attach them here. And in the next photo, you're going to see both loaders fully raised, fully dumped. You lose two degrees of rollback with the MSL, but you gain significantly on the dump angle. And I had asked him that question on Green Tractor Talk in one of the discussions. Um, I never really did get an answer because my natural assumption would have been that the MSL would have had a greater dump angle. And it, this one does. This is it's significant. I okay, <clears throat> I just checked my meat. That's enough talking. Let's put this thing into a pile of dirt and I'll show you a little bit of what I've been talking about. Okay, so there is, I don't know, you guys be the judge of that. That's a pretty full bucket. Actually, I'll be surprised if I can raise that up without losing any. But let's, uh, let's give it a shot and see. Not so much as a single drop fell out. Like I said, that's a that's a beautiful thing. This is the only way to really see how much you can get in the bucket is to do it on a load of loose material. see some spilled out that time but this a lot of this is very loose uh, a lot of it is shavings um, and you know very fine very very fine composted down material um, but that just goes to show you I mean this 
I don't I don't know how anybody would buy one of these tractors without this MSL uh, because obviously for pallet forks or what my round bale spears I'll get another video we feed a bale every two weeks um, how could you not I mean especially now the the hydraulics appear to be smoother on this but perhaps that's because I know I don't have to stop and level the load out to keep from spilling back but for uh, whatever reason they seem smoother to me and I also didn't have to back out of that pile just an inch or two to get that to lift up so uh, someday down the road I will figure out some way to do some sort of a lift capacity test or maybe who knows somebody else might buy one of these and beat me to it and that's fine too uh, I honestly don't have enough weights or even just materials uh, but if I did do a load capacity test I would have set it up on a pallet so that I could make sure everything was about two feet in front of the pin because that's where the MSL is really supposed to shine is when you have a load out front okay so you kind of got a good idea of what I'm talking about uh, I mean I lost a little bit on the second load but I mean you know if you look at this this material I mean this is you know and it's it's windy today too so doesn't take much for some stuff like that but as you can see I drive in I curl it and I picked it right up I mean I didn't actually I didn't even have to back up you know that inch or two to get that to pick that up out of the pile um, I'll get a better idea weather permitting maybe tomorrow because I do have to turn the the pile up at the barnyard um, I've been really needed turning. I've just been waiting for this. Uh, in case anybody's wondering, I ordered this loader, I don't know, probably seven or eight weeks ago. Whenever they first announced it, I ordered this loader. Um, <clears throat> and originally I was given a date of, I think, November 20th, give or take. And then it got bumped up to the middle of October. And then my salesman called me on the second and said, your loader shipped yesterday, so, but they don't have any way to track them. So it came in, the dealers actually had it since Monday. Um, and then Tuesday morning, the salesman came in early and put it together and then my younger daughter and I went down yesterday, Friday, yesterday, to pick it up. So, there it is. Uh, like I said, perhaps the rollback on the 220R isn't as dramatic as it was on the 120R. I would have actually liked to seen an angle measurement on that uh, 120 MSL so there it is in a nutshell i mean like i said there's no way if i were buying a 32r or 38r today there's no way i would order it without this loader uh i can't i nobody really it would take an awful lot for anybody to make me believe that the nsl would be a better loader than this so if two degrees of rollback is a game a deal breaker for you well then maybe it is but to me this is sweet uh so i hope you enjoyed this um i will have videos like i said i'll be turning the pile up there and i'll really get a better feel for it up there because i'm gonna have to dig into that some and i'll get a, a better feel for it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this 
uh, first look at the 220R MSL. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching.